those who delight in hurting others, those like Yamata no Orochi, who 100 years ago yearly demanded that Kamiki village sacrifice a young maiden to him. They say good triumphs over evil, yet sometimes that needs to be backed with power. 100 years ago, Kamiki village had Shirinui and Nagi, two legendary heroes who together defeated Orochi and sealed him away. And now, it's just us. Guardian of good and banisher of evil. Okami Amaterasu. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we wrapped up affairs in Taka Pass, Kusa Village, and Ogsaw Forest. And this episode, we're heading into Kamiki Village because this is the night of the full moon. And we know that Orochi's back, and he's up to the evil that he was 100 years ago. And it's our job to stop him. Let's go. Oh boy. Man. This has been 25 episodes in the making, and now it all comes down to this. Looks like he's already started. Now before we go over and talk, go over there and talk to those people, let's go ahead and ra get our affairs with the merchant up and or off to a good start. Why aren't people getting ready for the Kamiki festival to begin? I wouldn't sell I won't sell anything like this. Don't don't suppose your owner sent you to out to buy anything, did he, pup? Do some shopping? Sure. Uh, let's see, what I want to buy, let's see, make sure I have nothing to sell and I don't. Uh, let's go ahead and buy before we go over there, let's buy uh you know what? Do I need anything? Uh, I can buy three of these, I guess. And I think I'll buy a vengeance slip because, you know, uh, sometimes godhood just isn't enough. So let's go and buy those. We still have 40,000 yen, so we're pretty good on money. So I think that's good. Okay, now we can talk to those people. I have the life beads equipped, even though I did that last episode. I just actually didn't really show it in a battle, besides a battle that was sped up, and I didn't want to have that be the Life Beads first use. So I will show them. Later. Hey, what's everybody doing in front of Susano's place? You come out here this instant, Susano. You have some explaining to do. How could you have drunk the sacred sake meant for Konohana? Huh? Susano did what now? You can come out, Susano. We're not mad at you. You must have had some reason to drink up the eight purification sake. Uh-oh. This is bad. Why would you drink all the eight purification sake, Pops? I don't care if it's so special. I couldn't help myself. I just had to have a drink. Well, it wasn't any old sake, and this isn't, isn't any old festival. It's been exactly 100 years since Nagi and Shirinui's great victory. We've even been blessed by a glorious full moon. How could you have done such a despicable thing? Leave me alone. I don't care about Nagi and his fleabag friend. I am Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. There isn't a drop of eight purification sake left? Susano was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed up in his house. All the sacred sake Kushi brewed is gone. Why do you have to go and do that? This is terrible! I mean, eight purification sake is what saved the day in that legend. The timing couldn't be worse with the return of Orochi and all. The dreaded Orochi. It's all my fault. I'm to blame for all your misfortunes. That's right, you fool. Do you, do you realize what a fix we're in now without any sacred sake? It was I who committed that unspeakable act at the Moon Cave. It was I who brought Orochi back to life. 
I have brought utter destruction upon the world. Huh? What is that fool talking about? I was sick of hearing about how I'm descendant of Nagi. I wanted to prove it was all a lie by removing the sword Tsukuyomi. But the legend was true, and I unleashed an unspeakable evil. And the curse consumed all of Nippon. This is madness! You removed the sacred sword that imprisoned the dreaded Orochi? I fled to the village out of fear. Then, I blocked its entrance with the boulder and hid underground. After that, I tried fleeing here and there. But the gods would not leave me, leave me be. Ever they stared down at me. They let it be known that I'd never be forgiven. At least, not until I slew the dreaded Orochi. I know that Tsukiyomi was removed and the Moon Cave vanished. But if what Susano said is true, that would mean... Orochi's right of sacrifice. One hundred years ago, tonight. On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. If we don't offer the chosen maiden as a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped out off the face of the earth. Susano, you're no coward. If the gods tell you to fight, you're the only one who can. You can do it. After all, you saved me, didn't you? I know you can do it. I know you'll come. Wait, Kushi, you're not going to... Behold, my thunder brew! The great Nagi intoxicated Orochi and defeated him. My sake is my life. Surely it can intoxicate even Orochi. Hey, Kushi, wait! She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? Man, she can run fast. No, Kushi, wait! And that, she's off. And it doesn't seem like uh, Susano's ready to take up, take up Nagi's role in this, since this is precisely as it happened 100 years ago. What's wrong with you, Susano? Where's that Mr. Brave face of yours you always put on? 
It doesn't seem like we can get in. Hey, Pops, open the door already. And it doesn't seem like he's going to come out. On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the cursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. Nagi and Shir Shiranui put an end to that abominable tradition. But, alas, it has come back to haunt us. Oh, dear Kushi, forgive us. There's nothing we can do. Come out, Susano. Is the sacrificial arrow the work of that legendary monster? Are we doomed to be devoured by that horrible thing? I'm begging you, come out and deliver us from this evil. Well, it seems like it's all up to Kushi. And like I said in the beginning of the episode, us, the guardians of good and banishers of evil. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Mushi, because if you remember, it was Hayabusa's premonition that saved Mushi. Hayabusa, you saved my life. Is that why you're sitting there the whole time? Were you waiting to push me out of the way of that arrow? I had no idea. I have treated you so badly lately. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Hayabusa. Man. It's even sadder when you consider that that isn't even Hayabusa. That's Chu. Man. <sighs> sorry. Okay. Let's go on. Let's go to the moon cave. See if we can defeat Orochi ourselves. Sorry about being kind of quiet. My uh, my heart every now and then kind of gets out of sync, like a you know, like a run a runner who kind of loses his pace, and you know, it, it clears up within minutes. But it just made me be kind of quiet because if I if I continue talking, it kind of makes it worse. So I was just letting it pass over. You okay, sweetie? <sighs> Do not try to stop me, Yusun, or you, Snowy. If Orochi's chosen victim runs away, disaster will befall Kamiki. But that's not why I'm doing this. What? There's too much suffering in the world. I'm going to use my sake to rid us of this evil menace. Are you crazy? We're talking about the dreaded Orochi here. That attitude's gonna get you killed. You really think you're, you, you'd win with a little jug of sake? Yes, Isun. I guess I am crazy. But it's the only way. My sake is the only answer. I'm going, and I'll defeat that monster with my sake. Well, if you can't carry you for you, then we'll carry you for you. <laughs> Aw, man. Why are you getting all worked up? There's no hope of winning. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. It's funny, because this section my second take, and... Each time, and I, I did that last time, you know, the carry you for you thing. I did that wrong. So, you can't really get too serious about this. You know why? Because that's just what the enemy wants. He wants us to be nervous about facing him. So, I'm just going to approach this as I do my entire channel and fall down a cliff. No, I'm going to approach this as I do my entire channel and see that this is the final evil and we are supposed to destroy it and there's no other way about it that's our only option and he doesn't have one say about it now one thing i'd like to address is when um when they all when anyone says odorchi it's almost always said with dreaded before odorchi so they say the dreaded odorchi and that is part of odorchi's name believe it or not if you remember at the beginning of this episode i said um, I said his name was Yamata no Orochi, and that is what it translates to, the dreaded Orochi. So it's basically a um, Japanese prefix without actually having a prefix that English people wouldn't understand. Now, if I got that wrong at all, I will post it on screen right now. I'm pretty sure I got that spot on. So anyway, Mika, Kushi, what on earth are you doing? I heard a, de a deafening peal of thunder from the village just now. Believe me, this is no night to be wandering about outside. And you're doing it? Why? Go inside. This is no time for non-heroes to be outside. Let's go. <sighs> Orochi cursed Kamiki Village. He cursed Shir uh, Shinsu Field. He cursed Agata Forest. Taka Pass and Kusa Village also fell under that curse, along with Sasa Sanctuary. And now we've all brought it we've brought it all back to his doorstep. The curse is right here. This is where it all is. 
It's nowhere else. I say we're doing a ba uh, bang up job of doing, of defeating him. Brought the battle to his door. And we even have allies like Waka to help us. Or is he an ally? I knew you'd come, Matarasu. I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl, eh? None of your business, you half-baked prophet. Hey, that's the serpent crystal he stole from us. Well, the moon cave is open. You've played your part. Now leave the rest to me, Amaterasu. Why you... What's the meaning of this? Meaning? Hmm... Does the saying, like a moth to flame, ring any bells? I mean, you went in on your own accord, no? Of course. Only other, one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. I guess you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. Ha <laughs> ha! Snap. Looks like we've been set up again, Ami. But were you not planning to enter the cave anyway, Mashare? It is time for you to shine, Matarasu. Now, let me leave you with this little prophecy. Look! The moon! The moon! The moon came out! <laughs> Pardon, Mashare. That was not a very good one. Good one. Au revoir. Bah. Guess we're stuck here. But we were planning on taking care of that Orochi anyway. Cut it out, Ami. It's no use. Let's go check the place out. Very well. Moon Cave. Behold, the last area standing between us and Orochi. Sorry, the dreaded Orochi. Huh? Oh great, the stairway has crumbled away. God or not, this is just too big a leap for you. We either have to find a way around, or we could go our way. You know, our way. It's so obvious. It's that saying of mine. Leap before you think. I know it'll take a lot of guts to do that now. But... But... I... Okay, rejuvenation away. He's right over there. If I had the beetle from Skyward Sword, I would say, 
I would fly it right over there and be all cool because I could show it to you, give you a nice uh, cinematographic view, and I'd be like, it's right over there. That's where Orochi is. <sighs> We're so close. You know, if Ami wasn't a dirty little cheater, she could just jump over there like she did in uh, Sasa Sanctuary. But no. <sighs> uh, I don't know. Maybe she will if I just jump. Ami, this is our only option. I mean, it doesn't look like there's any way around. And if we waste any more time here, poor little Kushi will get gobbled up. Mm. Fine. Have it your way. Leave before we think. Ice. Wonderful. Every single game in the world needs an ice world. I don't care what anyone tells you about ice physics. Ice worlds equal coolness. Whoa. That was quite a fall. What have we got ourselves into this time? Well, now that we're down here, I hope you can sniff out Kushi's whereabouts for a ball. Hold it right there, Fluffy. What do you think you're doing? What business do you have at the Moon Cave? Stronghold of our master, the Great Orochi. Over there. Oh, you! Oh wait, I need to differentiate their voices. Never thought I would see your face here. We could spot you a mile away. You fixin' for a fight, you chumps? Well, we don't have time to mess around with bit players like you. But if you insist, then hurry up, so I can cut you to shreds. Why, you're just a dumb old wolf. Huh? Yeah, look at that foolish mug. You've got to be the dumbest looking wolf I've ever seen. And to stray so far into a place like this. You're not too bright, are you, champ? I don't think Fluffy here is much of a threat. Let's not waste any more time here. Yeah. I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. They fed us! How patronizing is that? What do you want, Fluffy? You're not thinking about going through this gate, are you? Well, think again. The area beyond this gate is no place for a mutt like you. Now run off and play somewhere else. I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. And fed... Oh, I'll hit you. Huh? We don't have time <laughs> time for you, Fluffy. Boy, oh boy. Do you look out of it, mutt. I kind of feel sorry for you. Makes me want to feed you or something. You fed me... Why do you guys have to be source of infant money? I just want to kill you. Uh... Well, on another note, this is actually a new type of imp that we've never seen before, even though we can't fight it. I can hit you too. What the? Not bad for a mutt. Oh, he come. Never mind. You are cool with me. I know you think I'm dumb, but you're cool. Okay. But that is a black imp. And we can't fight it. So I won't give you a bio. Although I could give you a bio that just says. <laughs> circle it. I don't know. Calcified cavern. Oh, it's not ice. Never mind. This game isn't the best. It doesn't have an ice area. Seriously, oh, why did I jump there? That was stupid. Seriously, any game with ice is cool. I don't care what you say. Just look at Majora's Mask. It has it, and it's cool. And Ocarina of Time doesn't, and it's not as cool. You obtained... Brew of Thunder. Fragrant sake representing the culmination of Kushi's skill. Hey, isn't this that babe Kushi sake? Hmm, there's something left. But I'm not sure it'll be enough to take care of Orochi, so I better drink it. Alright, uh, this area, the Calcified Cavern. Uh, as for stray beads, gold dust, and sun fragments, don't worry about them, because there are none here. Literally, there, there are none here. Like, none. None in the Calcified Cavern at all. So, don't worry about them. Not in the slightest. They're not even our concern. So, just have fun in here. Uh, I'm not sure if they're... Well, th we're not in there yet, so I won't talk about that. Um, but yeah, this place is very simple. Just look around for chests and power slash the pots you see. Ignore that demon gate because I just want to check out over here first. Now, there are actually... Let me go over here to show it off. There are actually a few of these pillars that actually are not solid. How many times do you think I'm going to say actually this episode? Uh, this is an example of one. It's not solid. I'm inside this right now. And... I'm not sure if that's a modeling error, it really seems like one to me, 
Um, it's not like a complete error because they did these are special in some way because you can power slash them, but still, they should not be solid. Not at all. This one is. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Well, it seems like some of. Yeah, okay. So that one was solid right there, yet it was power slashable. So that specific one is a mistake. So it's weird that they made that one uh, walk throughable because this one is choppable, but that other one wasn't. Just really weird. I, I've noticed that on multiple playthroughs, and it just always strikes me as strange. Now, before we go through that demon gate, I just want to make sure things are cool here. That water looks poisonous, but it's actually not. And there's an area over here. Never mind. Wait. We jump up here. And anything? No. Okay. Well, let's go through that demon gate. And because this is technically the first normal battle with the, uh, with the life beads, I'm going to show it. Plus, this battle holds special significance. I'll show you what I mean. Behold. The Black Imp! Behold! The famous player, the famous drum player that's been doing all the drum solos in the music for this game. Alright, the Black Imp. What you want to do starting off is power slash the skull surrounding it. If you do not, also I got, did I get hurt right there? I'm not sure. Uh, no I didn't. Uh, if you do not, then uh, it will, those skulls will shoot lasers at you and they will also black, uh, block attacks. Now what you want to do is after its skulls are gone, just take care of it like a normal imp. And uh, just like a normal imp, its, its floor finisher is power slash. And for power slashing it, you get three, not two, not one, three demon fangs. And I did okay on stuff. Now, one of the reasons I want to have the life beads equipped in this area is because um, I want to get my godhood at max, and it's already at max, but I want to keep it there. And because we're about to, we're going to fight Orochi very soon, and I want to be at my full strength when I do. You obtained mask. Speaking of Majora's mask, we get this imp's face covering. Wear it to be accepted as one of their own. Hey, this is one of those masks those imps wear. But this one's so plain, no design on it or anything. Of course, any respectable artist couldn't resist a blank canvas. I mean, you you just want to paint something on it? Uh, I mean, you just want to paint something on it, you know? Hold on a sec, Furball. I'm going to spiff it up a bit. Hmm... You know what, speaking in, you know, in the theory of Majora's Mask, I think it's only appropriate that we draw the symbol of joining clubs. The symbol, well, the mask that allows you to get in the best club in the world. Let me go ahead and do this. Draw this, draw that, draw that. I know it looks like a peanut, but it's not. Actually, this looks like a lot like a, that's horrible. Uh... Uh, hold on a sec. That that does not look good. That looks like a peanut, and I don't want to have a peanut on my face. Arguably, though, it, it looks pretty cool. Actually, it looks like an ink pot, now that I think of it. <laughs> Doesn't look half bad on you. In fact, you look better than your run-in-the-mill imp. Do you like it? No, I don't. Okay, okay, furball. Don't get all bent out of shape. Guess I have to redo it. Give me a minute, will you? Uh... Now, if this were the end of the episode, although it is almost the end of the episode, I would uh, t ask you guys what I should put on it, but since I can't draw a cow and I can't draw anything in this game, uh, I, I want to make it simple, but I feel like you guys will say, ah, you're too plain, pal. Um, hmm. That'll work, I guess. Uh, let me go ahead and do... Uh, let's see if I can do this easily do that and it does not have to be within the parchment and let me do that good and then let me do hmm this nice and this nicer and then that oh that's good that's good that's good and then this Oh, that's even better. And then, let me finish it off with... Um... 
that. That. Oh, this is looking good, guys. I this is my, my greatest work ever. Wait, dot. Uh, let's see. He needs something else. Uh, let's do a little eyebrow thing because he's angry. There. <laughs> okay. Uh, wonderful. Uh, one more thing. Eh. 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 That's good. Um, anything else, though? Ooh, yeah, yeah, wait. One more thing. One more thing. So you guys can't accuse me of being plain. I'll do a little mustache. Like so. Is that even... Sure, I'll, I'll roll with it. I don't care. I don't want to spend too much time on this. And, actually, it doesn't look half bad when it's condensed like that on the parchment. It's not that bad. Uh, I've seen worse. Well, <laughs> now you're talking. Uh -huh. Bet you like it this time. Hey, I'll roll with it. I, I'm not, I'm not that, um, I'm not super pleased with it, but actually, you know what? I'm very pleased with it. I, I'll have to be honest. That's, that's pretty snazzy. Ta-da! Now you're one mean-looking imp. But seriously, this is no time to fool around. Only an imp would get a kick out of wearing a mask like this. Way to insult your own brushwork, Isun. While we're screwing around here, that Orochi's gonna take poor little Kushi and... And... I can't bear to think about it. Aw, poor Isun. Well, with that, that is not going to be it for this episode. Because I don't have an access to a save mirror. And I'm... And I... I routinely actually record these ep uh, one episode at a time, I know. Kind of unbelie unbelievable, but I do. I very rarely record these in batches of two. It's pretty much always one episode at a time. Again, I'm a little bit insane. Uh, but, yeah, so I can't actually access Save Mirror, and I'm not leaving this on for an entire day. So, I want to get to a point where I can access the Save Mirror. And let's go ahead and do that. With our new mask on our face, we should be able to pass through here without much resistance. Although, I'm surprised that we couldn't just kill those guys and go through, but, I don't know. It's in the script. Huh? What are you doing here? Looking for intruders? There was that silly looking it a wolf a while back. But nothing else out of the ordinary. We got this place covered. Get back to your post, now! Post? What post? The sacrificial ceremony for the great Otochi is to be held today. Everyone's busy getting ready. There's no time to play around. What are you waiting for? Get in there and help. Oh, uh, okay, I'm on it, sir. And, just like that, we have access, and let's go and talk to these people. Huh? What? Come on, we're doing our job like we're supposed to. Can I hit you? What will you do now? Youch! Stop it, that hurts! And you. Talk, 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 talk. S still loitering around here? The great Orochi doesn't put up with slackers. Well, excuse me, princess. Huh? Come on, we don't any want any trouble. Okay, let's leave. Now, it's interesting that they give the imps another side. They're not just mindless monkeys. They're actually conscious of what they're doing, which is interesting. Makes me makes me wonder what they are from. What are they? Are they people? What are they? Anyway, let's go ahead and go through this door. And here we are. The actual moon cave. Or as my sister would probably say, the axiom! Because she likes saying that. i surprised she hasn't done it during recording. So, here's the dun the last dungeon before Orochi. We have a lockjaw here. We have these uh, pots right here. We have some ice right there. We have a bell. We have this imp. Uh, where's the appetizer? Lord Orochi always demands an appetizer before he dines on his human sacrifice. What's taking so long? It should be ready by now. Uh, Lord Orochi's gonna chew us up and spit us out if we don't hurry. Uh, what on earth are those stupid cooks doing? Uh, 
Hey, don't ring the Epicurean bell yet. You're not supposed to ring it until the appetizer's ready. Lord Otoji will punish us if it's rung before that. Uh, <laughs> I like my voice for him. Okay, let me go and ring it, just because he said you're not supposed to. Oh, never mind. He will punish us. Okay. Uh, Demon Scroll. Okay, uh, well, that's going to be it for this episode. Also, that looks like a boo. <laughs> I'm just getting sidetracked, but that looks like a boo. Seriously. That is uncanny. Looks identical to a boo with an awesome hat. Okay, like I said, that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to be exploring the first dungeon of the game. There's first dungeon. Sorry, last dungeon of the game. Uh, the Moon Cave. And... I release new episodes of Akami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And if you like this episode, comment. If you don't like this episode, still comment. Tell me how I could make it so it, you would like it. So, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami. However, before I go, I just want to tell you that the save mirror, because we haven't seen one in this area as of yet, is in here. I just want to go in here because it shows a cutscene of this pot, which is significant, and I'm going to have to save between episodes anyway. So I just want to show this so it's you guys get to see it. And the save mirror is right there. Right there. So just so you guys know, that's where the save mirror is in case you're playing along. So, see you guys next time. And I might... And you know what? I'm going to fight this during the end slate. So, initiate!